Hi, in this second video in Unit 5, we're going to work in this video on adding the grid. And as you can see, there is a uh, uh, the imported AutoCAD file inside the Revit uh, corresponding uh, levels. But we need to add a real grids made in uh, Revit, not to depend on the grid that, uh, or actually the DWG grid copy that we have here. Of course, you can select those and unpin them and block them and use them as a 2D uh, representation of a grid, but that's seriously incorrect and I highly, highly not recommended uh, any type of explosion here. It's really, uh, really a bad idea and it's going to really hurt and increase in, in, um, the performance of the it's actually going to hurt the performance of the of the the machine that you're working on by uh, adding a serious amount of object that you don't need actually so what we really need to do is to add a revit grid and before we do that it would be really a wise decision to go to annotation and double check the uh, the, the dimension that you added are they actually uh, what they are. So the powerful thing of this importing or even linking DWG to Revit that you can snap on them. So if I use a line here and you know like I click here I see that the mouse actually snapping on them. So you can feel them and sense them with your cursor. So when you do click here and click here double check that. If you see this 2000 exactly as this go ahead and go ahead and, and do whatever you want double check that what actually been imported from AutoCAD is placed correctly aligned and first correctly second the right level I mean and then aligned vertically to each other that's the second important thing and the third uh, is to double check probably it's, it should be the first actually is to check that this is really 2000 otherwise you're gonna be really crying for a long time because you model the entire building and then you find out it's uh, the scale that you are actually following or tracing in Revit is not correct. So those are three check things. Probably the best is to start by, you know, knowing it's really a 2000 before. Now, uh, for some, especially in, when you're going to pass to the second level working with placing those walls, you're going to see the dimension, you know, like a little bit annoying. So, uh, especially if the document is really, really crowded, it's, this one is not really a crowded one. And it might, you know, annoy you when you try to snap to the right thing and you have lots of points, as you can see here. So, it would be a good idea to get rid of some of the layers that you imported within this AutoCAD file. So, is that possible? And of course, yes. And that's really another powerful point I wanted to highlight it for you. So just hit V, V in the keyboard, V twice. Uh, you can see those, the main category with the model category, the annotation, analytical model, and imported category and filters. Yeah, this one here, imported categories, is especially for anything that's been created outside Rivet and you want to control its actual categories. Uh, and perf whatever, whatever setting or performance of those settings, uh, part of the, 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 the plans you can control in here. And as you can see, that's the visibility. And of course, I am in the ground floor, so I'm going to expand that one. And as the dimension, again, that's the power. I always tell my student in AutoCAD, please rename correctly all the layers. Otherwise, you know, when you're going to work further in Max or in Revit, it's going to be a little bit painful to control what actually you've been importing on creating. So see, it's here, annotation, dimension, and this one. Two layer for dimension, so I'm not going to work on and off all those. Just this one and hit apply. Nothing happened, it's okay. Hit this one and apply and you see that all the dimension has been disappearing and now it's way much easier to place things without all the crowdedness that I have. Probably you need to do this and, and, and all, you know, uh, the layers, uh, sorry, the levels so you know it won't take more than a couple of seconds out of your time this one is really doesn't have much of uh, dimension so I don't know if you don't want to do that it's not a big deal so what is this this roof uh, where is it that's roof 
and that's it. So again here, I think I pressed the wrong one here. It should have been uh, go to the imported and then go to the level one. Let me turn off also this one. And then go back to the ground floor. Now, as that been done, which is getting rid of the, or understanding how the visibility and uh, control can get rid of the unrequired layer from the AutoCAD import file. Now we can go ahead and go to the grid and start creating the grid that I want. And then let's see how it goes. See and can just tick this one. It's lovely and powerful and you know like it's also snapping and see I'm still in the grid command and I don't need to right click escape to activate the second bubble just hit click here it won't create a new grid that's the beauty, beauty of it so you can have some clicks optional if you place them correctly see that's it's one bubble side but instead of going and creating the other one I can just click this one to create the second one and as we said that before you might notice that the auto renaming for the grids that Revit actually knows it's one two three and then four after and so on which is really beauty so let's do that that's the grid almost done for the vertical one now the horizontal one and of course it's gonna go six so you don't need to freak out just select that and cancel and one click two clicks here and then change that to A's and then you go ahead and uh, let's go it's gonna know that it should be fixed into B's and C's you know alphabetically rather than numerically and here we go now we have been placed all those uh, <clears throat> all those uh, uh, grid that we have. And now we need to make sure are they is, are they actually shown correctly in the other levels. Uh, so we don't need to recreate them. One of the most famous mistakes that most of the time most of my students do it is uh, they actually you know uh, they actually recreate the grid again in the level 2 which caused us 1 2 3 4 5 to make 6 7 8 9 and that's really really incorrect and as long as you see them here all you need might maybe just to click here just, just to show the other bubbles and that's it you know and by that you have the grid actually placed in the first floor too let's double check the roof now the roof is also shown so if any possibility that it isn't shown and you should have even if, if even if you show even if actually you see it in the correct as like the case that i have it's really a good idea to go to the east elevation or any other elevation select the levels and then place them far away actually like this and make sure that those four actually above the highest level so if you didn't see them and let us let me actually show you that if this grid was down here which means below the roof and you go to the roof level and you notice that you're not gonna see yeah this is again that's the AutoCAD thing so don't mix things up you are not seeing the rivet thing like this one that's a rivet grid as you can see there's none here because I went to the east and I decreased the height of that so what you need again is to push them up so if you don't see any of your vertical sorry any of the grids in the plan make sure to go to the east elevation and fix that I would recommend to do the same thing uh, in other level in other elevation so that's a good thing to be done is to fix uh, the relationship even even as a shape or uh, like uh, how you arrange this in grids uh, as a grid and as level and elevation is really important uh, in the architectural work the final thing that I want to say is 
uh, sometimes as you can see here in the roof you need to keep clicking you know the whole thing again and again so uh, one option is to select that and you hit you know propagate extend and uh, you select whatever you want so I'm gonna select them all and when you go to the roof whatever you've done in the ground you're gonna see you know that you have two bubbles so that's really good so again instead of clicking this tick and then tick you know keep it clicking it's a little bit annoying maybe in this type of document it's really not important they have five by five ten click not a big issue but if you are dealing with a huge you know document that have hundreds of those grids just select them and then by hitting oops yep yeah, yep yeah, propagate extends just select the level or all the levels whatever you want to make them similar to this one so just hit OK and then you go to the roof and you find everything is perfectly aligned and changed even the extension of them they're gonna gonna actually copy the way you fixed and the way you arrange the grids uh, to be similar to the ground floor which is really a fast and important option one last thing before you go is to place the dimension so you go to annotation and then aligned it's really a good idea to finalize this now uh, before you go and work you know with the other type of works is to place the external grids and if you let's try to copy them and then paste them here align to selected levels so I want it to be in the level one and the roof let's see yep working perfectly so you don't need to do that you know uh, several times so just once it's really important for you you know to add the dimension to it so it can help you, you know to later on expect any kind of mistakes or at least estimate the uh, work correctly I wish that you find this uh, short video useful and see you in the next video soon bye bye